Molly's part of a, of a village. She's part of a sisterhood, and she's included me, me in that. I met Molly when I first came to Philadelphia and didn't know anyone, and Molly has been just a tremendous support to me. She's the big sister I never had. Molly's been a fabulous coach to me as I thought about uh, the transition that I'm currently in, uh, what the next steps in my career should be, but not only my career, really how to think about my, my life in total. Molly helped to take something called MS and make it very personal. She's passionate about it, not only because her dear sister has the disease, but because she understands um, the total impact um, this disease can have on one's life, on one's family, on one's extended family. For me, the relationship with Molly has been extremely personal as a mentor, as a guide through difficult uh, career transitions, and then as a friend with regard to her passion for nonprofits. Molly provided a lot of support and guidance in that transition, the career choices I had to make. Um, what should I do? What, my, what were my strengths? Where should I look? And she was so ever gracious in terms of providing advice, contacts, and really helped me to make a very successful transition to the Campbell Soup Company. I also admire the love that she has for family and the focus that she puts in her family. And so she really is a role model for many women about success in business as well as you know, working hard to make your family the most you can. One module of the Leaders Edge program was to present to a group of board members with a compelling story and you're filmed. And in that film and in that very safe environment of constructive feedback, I looked at that film and I said, that is definitely not me. And I had a shift in consciousness in that I changed a lot about me, a lot about my image, a lot about um, the way I presented, and it taught me a very valuable lesson, and that is to thine own self be true. And I attribute that to Molly and to that course. One morning shortly after I got the CEO role at United Way, she said, you know, let's just go out for breakfast. Let's have a conversation. And one of the first things she asked me was, so Jill, what's next? And I thought, well, gee, I, you know, I just got this job. Uh, but that was really the first time anybody had asked me that question and made me think in that way about what the real journey looked like for me. You know, I think Molly has challenged women in this region in general to have those tough conversations about the existence of a glass ceiling when some may deny its existence. She's forced us to acknowledge, to stare it in the face, and to take it on directly. And that's been huge because sometimes you really do need to call the issue out before you can even begin to tackle. It's the intangible things, her commitment to women, her commitment to giving, the fact that she invests personally, she gives time to make a difference. I'm so happy for Molly uh, that she's being honored by the MS Society and I want to thank her for all that she's done to help me with my career. She has been the single most uh, important and valuable person in, uh, in my professional life. I believe that Molly is committed to building women as leaders in corporate America and also in government. I hired Molly and Peter to conduct some team building workshops for uh, my teams at PICO. Um, she was remarkable in improving our effectiveness um, as a team. Through that relationship, she became my informal and then ultimately formal executive coach. I have to say that I'm a better business leader because of Molly. She has been a tremendous influence and asset to me in my career. She's an extraordinary resource. She has been my confidant, my counselor, my coach, and my cheerleader. She's been a tremendous influence in my life. She has been my safe harbor where I can discuss options and ideas. She's been my trusted guide on not allowing me to lead myself down the wrong road. She's very direct um, and it is hard to escape her. She makes you do your homework. She holds your feet to the fire. She will not let you slack off. Um, and she is at the same time warm and engaging and supportive as a coach. She's a great coach. 
You know, I don't know how she finds the time because she has grandchildren and children. She and Peter have a very active life and career. They own multiple companies together, and I don't know how she finds the time, but she somehow does. Managing a career, a family, being involved in the community, staying healthy, it's a lot of balls to keep in the air. Career women are jugglers, but no one's given us juggling lessons. And watching Molly is like taking juggling lessons. She's been on the board at WHYY and has chaired the board, and I've been able to watch her for a number of years. By the what she does and the way she lives her life, she provides a great example for career women to follow who want to learn how to juggle. Molly understands the difficulty of being a woman executive and she can be hard on you, but she does it solely so that you get better. And she wants to see us succeed. She wants to see all of us succeed. I want to thank Molly for all that she has done for me personally since I arrived here. And I want to thank her on behalf of the 14,000 plus people we serve that are living with MS every day because Molly makes a difference in their lives and she is helping us be better. And one day we are going to live in a world free of MS. And she will have been a big part of that.